Hey, hey, episode 166 with Brad Adam. It's all brought to you by John Howie Steak. Entertain your next clients, family, and friends at John Howie Steak. Experience the best dining experience in the city. Visit johnhowiesteak.com. Hi, Brad Adam. How are you? You look beautiful today. I'm, I'm feeling good. We visited a John Howie establishment last night. School is over. My wife, Heidi, said, let's take the kids out. John Howie's our friend. We're going to meet him one day. He was not there last night, Puck. Shocker. Um, <laughs> shocker. He wasn't there again for you to actually go and meet him. Dang it. He's never there never when there. you're there. Surprisingly. But it he does surprising. work sometimes in the restaurants. But had a great time. I'm not Girls sure actually are... when he does work. Does I'll he be, get I'll in? I'll be yeah. really honest. Yeah. Like, I don't think he works much anymore. That's the that's where I want to get to, Puck. Like when my name's on something, but I don't have to do anything. Yeah. Oh, right. Well, yeah. I mean, that'd be. What? what hold on. First of all, w- yeah. wouldn't wouldn't everyone not want to work if they don't have to work? Like I always, I I don't know. I always hear this. Well, if I won the lottery, I wouldn't work. The Powerball, the ten billion dollars, or whatever it is, three hundred fifty million. You know, I'd I'd like to still work. <laughs> Who? Why? 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 The whole point of working is to earn money. Right. So you, you already have money. Why would you want to work anymore? Yeah, I mean, you there's... can do some do some volunteering. You do whatever you want. I, I sure. don't know. But I would like to golf and travel. Yes. 100%. Yeah. That's you it. don't have to work. Why work? That's why I think the Europeans yeah. got it right, man. The Europeans got yeah. it right. They don't work that hard. Four days because a week, it, yeah, it's, or whatever. It's just not that important to them. We 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 work over here. We drive ourselves into the ground. I mean, not you and I, right. but you know, right. people that with real jobs, right? And some point, I think that after we retire, maybe from these jobs, we go and be a starter somewhere at a golf course. Oh, I thought about that a lot. Just yeah, give people a hard time, heckle them, and then go play golf in the afternoon. Well, work in the because morning. What does a starter golf. always do? You guys, uh, you guys play here before? Have you played before? <laughs> Hey, you want to hit him straight? First and question. Okay, what, you, get him on the green here before. Um. Okay. Wait, oh, you haven't. Okay, so no. I. All right. Well, plays a plays a little longer than you think. <laughs> I would suggest maybe maybe moving up a little bit. And everything uh, you guys, breaks. Yeah, everything breaks to the river. So remember that when you're putting, yeah. it all breaks this way. Looks like those guys are on the green. Okay, you guys are okay to hit now. <laughs> yeah, I think Walker, I would hey, love to be a starter. The guys in in Texas when we would play. Um, during the summer months when it's really, really hot, they would ride around with a ice bucket of um, apples, apples and bananas, you know, frozen apples. It was so good. So that's apples part of the, and bana- oh, what, what, that's part of their the job. Beer. Too. Where's the beer? Well, that's a separate cart. This is the yeah. starters. Like they would get you going oh. and then walk around and, you know, okay. ask if you needed anything because it's hot. You know. So would you like to, if you could choose, would you rather, and hey, listener and viewer, we'll get to the Mariners in a second. So stop with the, hey, F you guys and get to the Mariners. <laughs> we'll get, they didn't play last night. Uh, we have nothing to say, nothing to add. They didn't play. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Yeah. So would you want to be a starter or a marshal or, or both a hybrid? Um, Marshall, I think you, you, you drive around and you see more Man, and you, you deal with be, problems. You can kind of be an asshole like, a little hey, bit, but you got to you know. pick it up a little bit. Yeah, hey, guy, um, fellas, uh, group in front of you is off that green. You can pick it up a little bit. Yeah, okay. got a hole in Five front of you. Kind. But start, you just sit there and just BS and watch them heckle. Don't do much. I, I think ah. I'd want to drive around a little bit. Be a marshal. Yeah, I think. Yeah, because I'd be a nice marshal though. Sure, I wouldn't be an a hole like some of them are. Because some of them, when they're coming up, you can already tell. Like, oh God! If Let's, this yeah. if this son of a bitch comes up to me and tells me to keep, you know, get it, pick it up, and I'm going to be. Well, I just watched, you know, uh, you know, j- this Johnson guy up here look for his ball for 15 exactly. minutes. Okay, so I can't go anywhere. What's the biggest oh delay God. of golf? What is it? What drives you nuts? I I just. Uh, the the person or if whether you're playing with them or the group in front of you what have you mm-hmm. look where they've hit it out of bounds you know in the waste right. area and they just keep looking for it right so just like, drop the ball and take the drop. penalty and move on yeah because now it's not stroke and distance anymore it's just right where it goes out 
We're out of bounds either. Well, and that's the thing. We've but always played that go. way. I, we've go. always played that way. I, I've yeah. never did the, oh, you hit it out of bounds, you got to re No, re-tee. just wherever you went out, just drop it there, take a penalty, let's move on. Yeah. We're not professionals here. That bothers me. And what else bothers me is, you know, people that think that they're better than they are and they'll <sighs> – They'll wait, like on a par five, for the green to clear. Uh, two, 265 like, out what you, here. If, yeah. I, if I catch this 3 no chance. Game, I'm going to get it on there. <laughs> if I get a roll, I'm downwind there. I might, so I better wait. Oh, and then it, and like, I'm grounds guilty it. of that. And then, no, I'll just, come and then I'll get four feet behind it. Right. Top exactly. It. God it's be- damn. better to just say, hey, sorry about that. That was my three wood from 260. Sorry. You're right. Green. Sorry. You know, well, sometimes, that- though, I do it when I'm like 130 out. God, if I catch this clean, I can hit him. <laughs> If I tee up this five iron and really catch it, have you, I can here's the thing about <laughs> golfing. Have you ever once, I mean, and I will answer my own question. I have not. Right. Have you ever once said, oh, you know what, man, they're like, they're still on the green. You know, let's, it's 240, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to wait because I may, if I get into one, I may hit them. I have never waited and then hit the shot and it landed <laughs> on the green. Ever, ever, ever. So but I'm I, with yeah. you. I'm going to take your your approach next time. I'm just going to hit it. And you hit know what? It. If it runs up there, it, it runs up there. Hey, got exactly. into one. I've been lifting and eating better. Exactly. And then what's fun, too, is when you're on the green and you notice people waiting for you, I like to finish and then walk like two steps off the to green watch and just him. watch them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you were waiting for us. Well, yeah. let's Come on see up. hit I, one. I said, oh, <laughs> it's another duck hook into the into the water. Yeah, put a little pressure on him. I like. Are you a fast too. player then? I um, I, I don't oh. think I would say I'm a fast player. I think I'm fairly average. I mean, I, I, you know, it's always if it's like one practice swing max. I don't like the guys who do a couple practice swings and then oh. do walk. Do, no, one practice swing. If that, get up, hit it. You know, I read. I'm not I don't, a practice I, swing guy. I don't read from behind the hole. I don't oh, read greens Jesus. that well, so I just kind of get up and yeah. Do I, you I do you do you I, walk and do the no. putting with the with no. the fingers <laughs> and stay in there? No, I don't understand that. So that's so why I'm not a great putter. Maybe I don't read well. Okay, but no, we we keep it moving. I mean, come on, you none of us it. are that good. Come on, and yeah. congratulations, except, except and congratulations. if you're in a tournament. Yes. Yeah, and congratulations to the Brad Adam family. Tell Thank everyone what, what, what happened this past weekend on Father's Day. Well, it was actually Saturday the day before. Okay. So it what was a Father's Day event, wasn't it? Yes, right? yes. Father Child Tournament, my dad's club. My brother came out from Chicago for the first time, and those two were a team, and, and Wait, uh, dad and I were uh, a team. Time out, lay down on the couch for a second. Right. Your brother's out into Seattle for the very first time ever? No, for the tournament. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You were I've been here 24 years, never uh, seen him. You've been no. here for a long time. Yeah. And what on happened? Up, What's going on with the Adam family? Why, yeah. why does your brother hate you? Right. Okay, so first time he's been out for the golf yeah. tournament. He's not He's not much of a golfer. So he, okay. he came out this year, and it was a lot of fun. My dad and Rob played as a team, and my dad and I played as a team. So Okay. So they won bet, uh, best net. How does they that work? Net. So there was three of you guys. You played two different teams? Yeah, Dad played okay. on each day. Yeah, and okay, then all right. They won that, and Dad and I won gross for the tournament. So now I'm waiting for the you know people to kind of what? maybe mention something like, "Well, these three went out. You know, we were our own group." And people, mm, are they gonna? Oh, they think they, some, some they cheating question? going on. I don't know. I haven't heard well, anything yet. We'll see. Yeah, eh, probably not. No, what was the prize? What did you win? And and tell everyone, where did you was play a, at? Bowl. Is some small little like you know Muni? No, it was here. <laughs> it was here at uh, my dad's club, Overlake. Oh, oh, over, oh Overlake. So you got a we got a nice bowl. I, could, I should have had it for you. Um, like a crystal bowl or well, something. Well, not crystal, but <laughs> yeah, <it's> glass. <laughs> It'd have but, been awesome if they give you a crystal bowl. Crystal. But it's one of those things. I mean, like like Rory. Yeah. You know, when you play golf, Jace, like at, at the highest level. <laughs> U.S. Open father-child tournament. You know, you feel the pressure. So we sure. wanted we wanted the weather to, to be really bad because we felt that a lot mm. of the younger kids, a lot of the soft kids. They don't like the would, weather. Wouldn't No, wouldn't play in the rain. Now, it never rained, which which upset us a little bit, but it was windy and it was cold. And they had the greens at 12 
on the stip. Oh my lord! And I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, this is it's a, nice a it's a family it's, tournament, right? Yeah, we don't hey, children. Hey, it's not the U.S. Open over <laughs> like, Lake. We're what are we 12s? doing here? I tell you, the first putt I had, the second hole. I like a fast putt though, like fast. I like like my women. Dude. I like my women fast, <laughs> and I like my putts fast. I'm not gonna lie. My first one about a ten footer downhill left <laughs> to right. How many feet and passed? I'm just, and I'm knocking. No, no, I just I barely nudged it. Like, just, ding. And like three feet short, but I was able to make oh. the part. But that, I tell you, the first green, no matter, even at this silly little tournament, I mean, the first tee shot, I'm like shake, you know, nervous. First putt, I'm like, what am I doing? It's just a round with pop. Jesus. Hey, but, but you hey, won it. Congratulations. Well, we, we, we partnered well because the first couple of holes, I tell you what, Puck, two of the first holes, I hit drive, good drive, but it, it ended up in the fairway bunker. Like mm. up against the lip, no shot. Oh, and I'm like, in two and four holes. I'm like, really? Is it gonna be one of those days? But luckily, Dad parred those two holes okay. that I messed up on, and then I parred a couple that he messed up on. It was one of those things, Puck, where you know he bogeyed, I parred. You know, same type of thing. Sounds I like bogeyed, Pops parred, is a pretty so. good golfer, huh? Pretty good stick. You know what? He he he, he played well. You know, he was struggling going in. I was worried about him. Okay. Um, worried about how I how much I had to get on him. How much I had to <laughs> uh, threaten him a little bit, but but he played he played pretty well, you know, and and strokes yeah. helped him and my bro. So anyway, it good. was two over par, gross two over, first time ever. Oh, over really par good. won it, but it was just miserable playing. So we were very surprised because we had no idea, you know, when you play. There's a lot of better golfers, younger golfers out there, but. Okay. Um, they said our names were very surprised, and they said best net, you know. Congratulations. Miles Adam, and it was like, holy cow. So, what a day. What a day. Yeah. Congratulations day. to the Adam family. There we go. Congratulations. Hey, thank you. Thank All you. right, episode 166. You want to get into it. We As we just started to record this here on Tuesday, we got the news that Tyler Lockler, he's staying. Ty France has he's been staying. St- is, as, is back off the paternity list, and your good friend Sebi Savala has been designated for assignment. I would I would assume not surprised by that news or or maybe you are. Uh, um, <laughs> Sebi just never found his footing here in Seattle. He did not. No, and Garber can catch and has caught and I guess will continue to catch and I think that's helping him a little bit. Um, I don't know, but uh, you think yeah, they're running? Think- you think this is? Are they risking this with Garver's injury history? I mean, I like it, but there is a risk with this. Sure. With his back that we've seen already this year. um, You know, if he catches, what, every three games, every four games, Mm -hmm. they hope it'll be okay. Um, And he'll DH the other days. But you are, it it is a risk, right? Um, If he DHs, something happens to Cal, you know, you lose the DH, he has to go in. or I don't know. I mean, I think it'll, you know, We'll see, right? But Lockler has has done enough, right, to to stay up. Um, I, I think he's been great. Well. He's been, yeah, he's. Been, I think he's, he's been, been great. Been I think because, and here's why I say great. And you're like, oh my god, well, let's, let's, let's let's let's. You're really you're being over dramatic. I'd say great because of this. All I heard was, well, he's not that really good of a defender, right? He <laughs> he's done fine. Looks right? fine to me. Every I time I what, see a play where he has to make, he makes it. I tell you, the same thing with Ryan Bliss, right? We heard all spring and all off season and, and cut leading up to to his call up was that you know doesn't really have a position, probably going to be second, but he's not that good at defense. Doesn't have the arm for short. Yada, looks yada. good. Looks pretty good. I tell you, these guys get up here and and they're both. The first thing they said is we're excited to work with Bone. Okay, what what what's with this guy? What is what is the Perry Hill is sauce unbelievable. With this you know, he simplifies things. He cleans up things. He's very good at, at just, he's got the six, what is it? The six F's, I think it is. Footwork, funnel. I, I don't know all six of them. Um, but well, what he Why does are you is, here if you don't he, know all six? For God's <laughs> sakes. Can we get somebody that does? I, yeah, Where's yeah, Angie? I'm sure. Where's Angie? She'll know. She'll demonstrate for you. Well, um, at, what, at some point, we got to get her on to have her just break it down. <laughs> but look what he did. Um, you know, Ty France has been good gino they he totally changed gino at third base you know made jp a goal glover yeah. he just he simplifies things and he just keeps everything repetitive repetitive he does the same thing over and over. little things little things he says every day you know they're out there before i've seen it uh, before bp it. and stretch it's every day they do the same thing every day every day every day routine 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 then becomes 
it's uh, almost normal. It's almost little league like the stuff right. that I see him do before the game. Absolutely. And you think, oh my God, like knees. these guys yep. are professionals. The grounders on the knees. Yep. Where they they're both yep. where they're on a knee and they're just he's just hitting them fungos and they're 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 catching them, throwing them in the bucket. They bucket. they backhand yep. them, they you know, they feel them, you know, normal, and then they backhand balls. I mean, but it's just like little stuff. And then they just take, you know, BP where he's just hitting them to shortstop and just stuff that you would see like my 10 and 11 year olds do. Yep. But it's every day and it's a focus on that every day. And they know that they're gonna do that work every day. And it just yeah. And and I've noticed two other teams starting to do that as well. You know, last couple mm-hmm. of years, uh, the Mariners were kind of the only team to take infield. You know, you don't really do that a lot during the season in the majors. You know, you do it obviously all during but they spring. Do, Once right? the season starts, yeah, they do every day. You don't really see you see it maybe you know, once or twice a month, if things, you know, if they have time or teams decide to do it once, but it's very rarely you practice during the season, but these guys practice it every yeah. day. And, you know, fewest errors in all, all the baseball for the infield, right? I mean, JP has one error at shortstop. I mean, you know, it, it just simplifies it and it makes sense too, because also he tells them when they're a little out of control, when they're trying to make a play, either going to your left, your right, or spinning, um, make sure you bounce it. Because if you bounce it, you give the first baseman a chance. If you just throw it wildly, you know. You're no right chance, about right? that. Yeah, that's. So he always some... tells them, sure. bounce it when you're out of control. Give the first baseman a chance. You yeah. know, one hop, two hop, whatever it is. Don't try to throw it when you're out of control. That's what it is. Just bounce. And you see the guys do that. I right? think Jeffy I could pay Perry Hill to come out to one of our practices and just give us an hour. I think he would do it for free. He loves it. He's I unbelievable. Mean, I need him. We need I was talking the other day. I said, how long are you going to do this? He's like, uh, you know, a few more years until I'm 80. Keep going. Then we'll see. I'm like 80. And then you'll see 80. <laughs> like, the man's 80 years old. No, no, wait, is, no, what no. is he? 70. How old is he? 70. What is he? 73, 74. He wants to go till he's 80. And then, he, then he'll see. <laughs> this is what I'm Amazing. talking about. These guys, with this, 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 uh, lifers, gonna, man. these lifers work ethic guys. No. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> that's not out. us. But it's him. But I tell you what, man, JP, Ty, it was Gino. I mean, these guys love Perry Hill. And he always kind of jokes like, well, I don't know. It's my last year of my contract. I don't know if I'll be back. I'm like, dude, you're not going anywhere. Hell, make him they the manager. A revolt. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. I tell you, their coach is what they've done with Perry, um, JD, who they like a lot, hitting coach. And I think it's, it's – we've seen it be better now. I think it's kind of gone back to, to his style now that – uh, their offensive coordinator has been relieved of his duties. I think you're, you're seeing it kind of go back to a, mm. a shift of what he wanted, and the offense has been better. And then Trent Blank and Pete Woodworth in pitching. I mean, what they've done is, oh, yeah. is unbelievable last couple of years. So the Mariners did a really good job of getting those coaches who are really good and, and really good at communicating to the players and leading them. The players buy into them and really, really you know, enjoy working with them. And they've had just tons of success. In those three areas. So do you, do you think they'll go with, so with the news with, with France coming back off the paternity list and then with Savala being designated for assignment, do, do you think that they'll go out and try to find a catcher? Um, yeah, at some point, I think they will. Um, uh, I think they'll maybe see how this, or just roll with what they've got right go now with Garvin, and, just roll with it. Right. And see what happens. Cause Lockler can, you know, maybe DH when, when Garber um, well, catches. It's an interesting development because you want him, is. he's still young, and you want him to play as much as possible. And with, with France coming he's back, back, he's not going to be playing a lot, and then he's pr- right. not going to be DHing a lot. I mean, I, I mean, I know you'll sprinkle no. him in there, but that's also a tough position to put a 23-year-old in. Let's say they wanted to use him regularly at DH. I mean, that's, that's I mean, l- look mm-hmm. no further than Garver and how much he struggled at, and he's a veteran. Right. Yeah, that'd yeah, be a that's tough, a tough thing. position, right? And you know, him coming in, you know, late in games, maybe to you know pinch it against a lefty reliever. Sure. That, that's not easy either. If you're no. in the eighth inning, you know, you get you know down a run or up a run, and and you're facing a good mm. a good lefty. That's that's hard too. But you know, more bats, you know, the merrier. And Sebi was just giving you nothing offense offensively, and and it, I think it was some of his his catching games. The game calling was a little head scratching, you know, and I think. I think Garver's done much better with with Kirby than than Sebi did, 
Um, and I think they're just kind of more comfortable with him. Certainly the bat is a lot. Better. I think I ultimately, I mean, I ultimately yeah. like the move. I just, the, the yeah. only worry about it is just, you know, is Garver's health. Can Garver stay right. healthy why... and not, I mean, again, he's had, you mentioned it before. He's had the issues already mm-hmm. with the back. And now you're going to be adding on more of this catching assignment to him. And that could obviously, you know, be problematic as the season goes on. Or maybe they just catch Cal every day. <laughs> Let's run him last yeah, year. Run Just him the into ground. the ground. I mean, they already are running him into the ground. Well, you surprised? Him, you surprised yeah. he's tenth in the All Star voting? I didn't see is he tenth. Yeah. yeah, I am. I, I think he's. <sighs> It's. T- I mean, the average pe- fans will probably just look at the average. It was a two hundred two. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to vote for him. I guess if you don't know, right. like if you don't watch the Mariner games, you're like, oh, good power numbers, a lot of RBI, right, forty or so. Mm-hmm. But they don't see him, you know, throw out runners. They don't see him call games. They don't see him, you know, stand up for the pitchers. They don't see him, you know, what what he does with this team and the staff. Correct. Um, you know, all star game. You know, the voting is just it's all popularity and numbers. Yeah. And I mean. He, when the coaches add, that's that's kind of when you know, you know, who's really having a good year and whose value is appreciated, you know. And I could see him sneaking closer. But as you know, too, there's going to be, what, six, seven, eight guys that don't play that are voted in. That's how guys get in. You know, like Julio last year got in when three guys didn't play, you know. So, Cal, maybe he sneaks in that way. Um, I think Munoz is, is going to be in. Yeah. Um, and they'll – have to get a starter or two in. I mean, you can't have a first place team, right, with the biggest lead of any division in baseball and just have one all star, right? That'd be, that'd be, well, that'd be they've got to have, it? it feels like they've got to have multiple pitchers like Munoz and right. plus one starter, maybe, maybe two starters. At least. I, I think so too. Because again, we talked about it with Munoz. I mean, I don't know if you'd let him pitch in that game, you know, or rather have. Give his back four days off, you know. Uh, I I think I don't know. based on where that's a tough one. I mean, it's I think your heart wants to let him do it because it's an all star right. game and it's going to be his first first all star appearance. But I think when you're looking at where this team needs him to be and how healthy the team needs him to be, I think right. you'd be like, ah, we'd like you to sit this one out. Yeah, because I think too, it. expectations have have changed, and I know there's a lot of season left, but the way the West is and the way that, that they're playing and how bad Texas and Houston is. I mean, the, the point of emphasis has to be win the division. It's not like, oh. let's try to get in the playoffs, right? Let's try to get a wild card. Maybe we can do this. But, but no, it, now it has to be win the West home field advantage that first round, right? Oh, that's why Maybe this get- series is so big <laughs> against Cleveland. What are they right. three and a half back at Cleveland? Sound about right. Something about, yeah, three, three and a half. Yeah. So yep. I mean, yeah, I mean, and you already you're, you you lost you know you're one and two against them. Correct. You lost the, the series here, so you need to take the series to tie. Then it goes to tiebreaker interdivision. The Mariners have that, but you're right. right. If they get a better record than them, then you know you get a buy that, that first you round. Just, you want to yeah, buy. Yeah, it's a lot. You yeah. want a buy. You to, that that everybody field. wants oh. it. The buy and the home field. I mean, my God, they've had. Yeah. Think about it. I mean, it's one playoff appearance and or one home game and what. <clears throat> Twenty. 23 years well, right? since 2001 yeah yeah 23 because they but only just else? had the one a couple of years ago in that final game against houston and what i thought was interesting and in, in they clearly went all in this series against texas you know oh by manipulating texas, the the yeah. starters yeah and, and and this this is what it could look like right if you, you think in postseason it's going to be castillo kirby gilbert right your top three yeah. and that's what it's going to look like pretty good and they gave up they gave up two earned runs and then, and then you've got in Wu the and Miller coming out of the bullpen. Sure. Maybe one of those guys. That'll be interesting, too, because normally those fourth and fifth starters aren't on the roster that first round. I'd be curious to see if, if mm. they do that or do they leave one off. Because that was a bummer with Marco a couple of years ago when he got left off the roster. You know, It's like, that stinks, man. But you're only playing two out of three. You're not going to need that fourth or fifth starter, yeah maybe you know? not but I, but i but i think i would but, i would include them on there and we would create a special role for these guys where they're coming in the sixth yeah. inning or the sixth or seventh yeah, inning yeah kind of like that matt brash role right come in fifth or sixth yeah, seventh, and just and cut just it loose gas. hey we're, yeah. we're cutting it loose here yeah. for about an inning or two yeah and then we'll flip it off and then we're going to flip it over to you know muñoz or whoever else they maybe santos is back or they pick up somebody at the right. deadline. but yeah they, which i think they will so i i think that was a great 
kind of um, preview or indication of what it could look like in a playoff series. Now, I don't know if they'll score, you know, five runs a game. That's what they average. If they score five runs a game, I mean, forget about it. I mean, you can go, you can go to the World Series with that. You of course, know, that's all that. they yeah. need. They don't need. They need a half a run. That's it. <laughs> they need a half a run more. Can they the, do that? That's all yeah. they need. I know. With the way Four. these guys are pitching right now, if it, if it stays this way, I yeah. If that's a big if, but you know, once they get there, um, they can you know manipulate guys get days off. They had an extra of rest for Texas. Um, and we just saw what they could do, and it's just you know this. They're built. Awesome. They're built. They're absolutely one hundred percent built for the playoffs. One hundred percent. Yep. Except they can't that, bunt. If they ever need to bunt, then they're screwed. <laughs> That's why it's going to be really interesting. And I know we've talked about it, and we will continue to until the trade deadline. You know, they'll add arms. I think in the bullpen, yes. But you know, do they need to go get Vladdy Guerrero Jr.? Something. Yeah. They. Yes. I mean, I don't know. You, yes. Yes. They, they need do. more offense, don't you think? They have to. I mean, they've got to get yes, something. But look where they are, and look what they keep doing. Yeah, you but know? this is. But like, I know you're going to face the other teams best pitchers too in the best bullpen i get that in the postseason hey, rem- remember when they did this in 2001 and everybody does it d- despite yes. them winning all these games everyone knew god it's just yep. they still Lou knew they still could add at the deadline they need yep. somebody and they didn't yeah. do it and they, yeah. they I know. remember stole stan pat old stan yep. pat gill and, and they didn't pull off a move was it that was it oh one when they were trying it was it juan gonzalez or am I misremembering that? Oh boy, um, or was that a maybe a year I don't after that one? Okay, but there was I like this Juan wow. Gonzalez rumor, but I just can't remember if it was 01 or maybe it was 02 or 03. But that would have been a good one. But you know, but they I needed something else or... that year. They needed another offensive yeah. piece, and they just they sat on and that's it. That's what they didn't do. Anything. Ultimately, led uh, Lou to leave. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. What do you want in a perfect world? Would you want Luis Robert Jr.? He'd do it for you? I mean, he's the type of guy that they would go after because he has club control for three more years. Pretty reasonable, too. Um, It depends on what you have to give up, I guess. But if you're convinced that he's the guy to put you over the top, then absolutely. And we've talked about it, too. I mean, prospects are just prospects. I would trade them and wish them well. You know, but Robert, it, the contract makes sense. The strikeout rate really doesn't. You know, well, I guess he'd move to right. With I know it makes it. Yeah, yeah, he'd move to right. I guess because Julio's in center. Although Robert, it's probably a little bit, a little ooh, bit better. Ooh, yeah. wouldn't that be something? We've acquired Luis Robert Jr. <laughs> and Julio. And moving starting right. today, he is our everyday <laughs> center fielder. I Jesus, could, that would. <laughs> Christ, can you imagine? No. Outcry no, on that one. Wow. I know. No, you move him to right, but, and, then you know, you, and then Mitch Hanniger's your DH. Okay. So what does Garver do? Backup catcher. Or or you just you flip flop. You go between or Garver. Flip-flop. You go between Garver yeah. and Hanniger and yeah. I mean that makes them better, right? Offensively. Sure. Well, one of those guys is on your and, bench. And defensively. I mean, oh and, yeah, because Robert would be really good in right field. Too. But then you've got one of those guys on your bench that you yeah. can use in a late game situation. Like they did the other, you know, yeah. that was a great question by Rich, Ryan Davis right. a couple of weeks ago when he asked Scott Service about how this roster construction is now and how much deeper it is that he can go to his bench now and pull somebody off like Mitch Hanniger, who ends up with the right. game-winning hit. Yep, that's true. And they haven't had that. Not for a while, but no, those guys, I mean, pro at bats, right? Like he gives you, like Garvey gives you, like JP yeah. gives you. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a little different offensively. I know they're still struggling, but. Well, they are deeper. Man, they are a little bit longer, but they still yeah. need some help. I agree. I agree. But it would be fun to just roll with this group and just win every game two to one, one nothing in the postseason. <laughs> oh. Get like five hits a game like they're doing. Just win every game. Hey, you want? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you no, go. I'm ahead. just saying. No, you go. Yeah, ahead. I'm just saying. Hey, you sure? Yeah, you're saying go. Sunday. You know, with the way Gilbert was pitching, it was what fourth or fifth inning when they got back to back doubles. You know, it was one nothing. You're like, that's the game right there. You know, that's it because. Texas is not going to score. Texas offense is the worst I've ever seen. Yeah. Right? They've always been able to hit. You know, back in the old ballpark, they could hit. Sure. They could never pitch, right? And even in the new one the last couple of years. Um, I, but, but but last year, I mean, they had guys, and talking to the Texas people they were in, everybody 
had career years last year, mm -hmm. just about. It was one of those years where everybody hit, and this year nobody's hit. <laughs> They've owned Seeger so know? far. See, what oh is, my does gosh. he have one hit against no. this year or none? 0 for 19. Goose egg. Goose egg against. Damn. I mean, they figured that out, right? They figured out how to pitch to Houston, mm. you know, because they don't do anything against them. Even Alvarez hasn't done. What are you going to wear on the championship Ooh. parade? What are you going to wear? No. Have you thought about um, it yet? It depends on if I'm if I'm you know on top of the float or just yeah. Do you want to be on the, the float or not? <laughs> where where do you want to be on the championship like they, parade? Like they would ask me. Um, Don't you think you'll be the you'd be the MC, wouldn't you? <laughs> no, Rick Riz. You kidding me? Riz? Come on, Riz. Been there long. Holy smokes! Oh, yeah. They holy did it. Smokes! They did it. I was I'd listening like be... the other day, and I think he did seventeen straight. Holy smokes! Is that right? Yeah. On on like a ground ball to short? Yeah. Or... <laughs> I tell you, they got the radio going in the bathroom, right? So when I'm getting ready and putting on the makeup, trying to look sure, look good for the show, it takes you a while. You know, Rizzy's just like, you know, drive to left field, and it's caught, you know, well before the warning track. And you're like, you get a run out there. I'm like, did I miss? I'm like, oh, Rizzy, you did it to me again. Uh, okay, so I you love think that you think Riz will be the uh, the Rizzo MC, MC, not you. I'll, no, I'll be yeah. the guy if I get on, which I doubt it. But let's just say I'll sneak on. Sure. I'll, I'll be the guy like trying to catch beers, you know, thrown up. People will lose. The players. If, if, can you imagine what this city, what, what would happen to this city if they win? They'd lose Gosh. their freaking minds. Gosh, this place man, would I mean, burn down. Right? I mean, look at the weekend. The weekend we had, what, it, one sellout or two sellouts? Every, anything over 40,000. It 000. was an incredible display yeah. from the fans this past weekend against Texas. And it, Unbelievable. Yep. Unbelievable. And I think it's going to be like that going forward. It's great. Maybe not 40, but now school's out and the team is rolling and uh, attendance is up. Yeah. I mean, they're winning. It's just. Hey, I want you to do me a favor next time. time you see our, our good friend Bill Kruger. I want you to wind him up a little bit and just. I'm seeing him this week. Yeah. You're going to see him this week? Yep. Say, uh, hey, I, I heard you on the show this week <laughs> with Puck. You, you really think the 1991 pitching staff is better than the current one? And then just. Said, and then just walk when, away. The 91? He says that the 91 pitching staff of the M's. Who's on that? I don't even know. Him. On he's on it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Pat yourself on the back, Kruger. Is he the Castillo of the group? He is. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think Who he else? considers. Is that like hold on. I don't know. Hold on. I got it. I got it. Eric Hansen's on it. Oh, Hansen was good. Yeah. yeah he's, Kirk, he's like Kirby. Yeah. Okay. Randy Johnson. Well, yeah. And then, um, oh, God, why am I blanking on the other one? Hold on. Uh, hold on. Give me a second. I can't remember. The, why am I blanking? Because the other one I was not, we were looking at. Uh, do, 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 yeah. Oh, LaDusha. Uh, Delusha. Rich Delusha. Remember Rich Delusha? And he's saying. Okay, really. Rich Delusha. And then Brian Holman. So he thinks he thinks oh, Randy Johnson. It was actually four of the five were pretty good. Randy Johnson, Brian, yeah, Brian like, Holman, yeah. Rich Delusha, Kruger. Uh, and then Eric Hansen, and, and he, he hit, thinks that group, group is better oh, than the current boy. group. Now, Johnson that year, 3.98 ERA, Holman 3.69, Kruger 3.60. He had the lowest ERA on the team. And then wow. Eric Hansen 3.81, Delusia at 5.09. Now, I said to him, I said, hey, come on. I said one through five. You're telling me Brian Delusia is yeah, better than on. Brian Wu? Oh, yeah, different time, different game. And like, you know, when he looks at you and he, he doesn't want, he wants to argue, but he, he's like, I'm telling you, it was a different time. We pitched, he goes, different we pitched time. in the kingdom, not in the Grand Canyon. That's, now, that, I that's said, true. That's a fair point. That's probably about a run I different. I said it's a that's fair true. point. You look, look at the numbers this year, Puck. It is uh, the starters, the staff, it's like two runs less at home than on the road mm -hmm. this year. So that is, that is a fair point. I mean, they are stingy yeah. at home, which is why, again. Win the division. I, get the. Buy, there were a lot of people advantage. that took oh great goodness. issue. I received a few. Uh, I received a text from somebody like, Did "He's you? off his rocker." And I'm like, oh, "Okay, yeah." <laughs> but I, I, there is part <laughs> of it though. I do agree with him that it was a different game and that they had to pitch in the kingdom. It was. Yeah, and remember, you know, AL was was the hardest yeah. division because of the DH. You know, didn't have it. So if you had an ERA under four. The kingdom I'm in still those taking days, this. You know, with the AL I'm taking the steroids. They don't have a Randy Ooh. Johnson. They don't have a Randy Johnson, but no, they, they don't. Uh, but I think one through five. It, it's one through better. five. Hey, yeah. um, what'd you think of Ro you. before yeah. you leave? What'd you think of Rory's meltdown? <sighs> Jesus, God, man, I felt for him. Didn't you? 
he, he makes those two putts, he wins. He, you know, and does he make one? I think if he makes one, he wins. One, well, it's a well, playoff. Here's, here's why well, I say why he makes one. Let's say he makes the one on 18. Now DeChambeau okay. knows he has, has to get up and yeah. down. He must get up and down. And that's it. And how oh, good was geez. that shot? So you know, way. I mean, they, they said it on the broadcast. Brando said it on the oh, broadcast, and he's right. No yards. one likes that shot, including those guys. It's the worst no. shot. The 55-yard bunker. The three-quarter oh. wedge shot that you try to catch clean, and you always hit the ball. Yeah, you usually, you usually pick green, it too right? clean, oh. and, you, and you sky it over the green. Jesus. Oh, he but, yeah, nailed it. Rory says it's going to take, what, three weeks off and peeled just out. Just got out of there. Leaving, just, you know, just peace out. Everyone's no, mad no, at no, him. No media. Just <laughs> here's here's why I defended him just the, for a quick second. Just because he has gone. He has had to be the spokesperson for, like, the good yep. side of golf, right? The good guys for, like, two years and then got shit on by his own tour. Mm -hmm. And it was like, really? Wait a minute. Yep. I was sticking up for you guys. And then yeah. you written, did this agreement behind our back my back yeah you know what i'm afforded to maybe just peel out so i i don't know yeah and then the bad thing too about this is is uh bryson now just goes right back to somewhere in tennessee to go <laughs> play on the live i don't even know it's where like, they're playing. come on man it's somewhere in so tennessee I, I, that whole yeah, that tour like, is really? so dumb so he's the champ right but it's so stupid so he said you know we got to unite us i'm like unite us because i don't know what they're gonna do but yes stupid can't stand it, but it was, it was, man, I felt for him. I mean, cause he had a great chip too. Rory trying to get up and down on 18. Well, yeah, but he left, he went, he should have left it below the hole. Yeah. Stabbed it. Yeah. Yeah. True. But, but that one, the one know, on man, 16, he just Gosh. powered it. I mean, oh, just, just, powered, oh powered right God. through the break. Like we've done. Yeah. It's like inside especially, left and firm. Especially and when DeChambeau <laughs> had opened up the door cause he had missed. Oh. Right. Yeah, that would have given him the one shot. Later. I don't know how you recover from it. I don't. I honestly, oh. I don't know how you recover from it. I don't think he. I don't think he ever yeah, will. He, I. I don't. I think this is it. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, he, it's been ten years, you know, since a major, and this was, yeah. was right there for him. He played. So I hope well I'm wrong because I like. I like rooting for yeah. him. I like. I love watching him play, and I like I when too. guys go through this. You, you know, in in sports, you like to see him yep. eventually uh, get another one. He's young enough to do it, and and certainly, I mean, God, he still drives the ball better than anyone, but. Man, oh man, oh he is. Gosh, yeah, and let's let's hope he stays stays with his wife. Let's hope. Well, it appears they're back on, but maybe know. they're back off. I don't know. It's kind of like you. All right, you're the best. <laughs> uh, that is uh, that's it. Episode one sixty six uh, with Brad Adam in the books. Uh, brought to you by John great. Howie Steak. Entertain your next clients, family, friends. John Howie Steak. Celebrate winning your father son tournament. Go to John Howie Steak. School is out officially this week. Go to John yes. Howie Steak and celebrate, not with your kids, but with your wife. Or that with was your a mistake. Father. Here's yeah. the thing: I, with with school being Next out, time. everyone gets excited. Yeah. yeah, but now you need to entertain them. Okay, true, but th they'll have jobs. So, all right, uh, we'll talk to you next week. Thank you, Brad. Yeah. You got it. Thank you.